see, the thing is with me is like I kind of handle it differently. Um, I kind of just try to live my life normally, as, like as normal as possible. Um, and yeah, I, I struggle still with it. Um, you really? Yeah, you I look at it. I look at it as a way that I'm going to struggle with it the rest of my life, and I just kind of got to stay conscientious of it. And, um, I get a lot of help. Um, I get a lot of help. Uh, I have the best trainers that I mean I, I meet with every time I got I still do I go to therapy I mean I'm a big believer in therapy I love talking to somebody uh, so yeah I have I have a lot of things I can do and like I said earlier I have so many friends I can talk to from treatment that you know aren't maybe doing as well but they're they're hanging in there like I'm hanging in there um, and I think being in the season it makes it so much harder because you know we've never really gone this late into a season we had an extra game this year uh, we're out here in California see for a while I thought that but then I thought you know I can't worry about that um, because I think the other people that kind of like that have the stuff that I have the same issues they understand how hard it is to you know, if there was, I'm not gonna, I got, I've never relapsed, but if I say I was a relapse or something like that, um, I think being honest about it would be so much better than, you know, kind of hiding it and stuff like that. I'm not worried about uh, what other people would think of me if that was to happen. Yeah, and then when did the coach, did the coach call you right away in the morning and said, shoot Yeah, he, did, well, he called me in the morning and just, he just like wanted to talk to me about it and just, because he wanted to release a statement and just asked me if I like a statement. So he was, were you worried he'd be mad at you for not telling him? He wasn't mad, no. I mean, he said he would have preferred because their phone was ringing off the hook. <laughs> He's like, I would have rather warned everybody to be ready for this. But but maybe if you warned him, you never would have done it. I mean, maybe you needed just to do And that's kind of what I told him. I said it was just kind of one of those things where it kind of came on in an instant. And I'm a pretty impulsive person to begin with, so I ran reacted to it. I did it. And, I mean, I don't regret it whatsoever. I think um, it just showed that, you know, somebody like me that's an athlete at Penn State, um, obviously Penn State being a big name in sports, um, it just kind of showed like a, a vulnerable side of me that people can relate to. It's kind of tough for people to relate to us because, I mean, for the most part, people aren't dealing with athletes, they're not college football players. Right. Um, but you know, there's people that have eating disorders. So, you know, they can relate to somebody like me that's struggling with the same stuff every day or uh, has the same issues. Uh, I think it's just a lot easier for people to kind of relate. Yeah.